This video will demonstrate how to set up the free software on Linux to send Morse code over the internet. This video will be in three parts. Part one will cover the first piece of software that we need to do this, Mumble. Mumble is a voice chat program and we have a server in California, a professional server that we've purchased a uh, slot in. Everybody can meet on Mumble just like you do on Skype, only on Mumble the audio is a little bit better for CW and you can have more than just a few people. Our particular server we can have up to 25 people and we can go up from there as needed. One of the advantages of Mumble is that it's free open source software and the developers of Mumble are focused on high quality audio and very low latency which is perfect for CW for the audio tones that we send as well as for good QSK back and forth for a good QSO so that there's not a big delay between the time you send and the time the other guy hears it or the time he tries to interrupt you and you you hear him interrupting you can stop quickly so it makes for a very good exchange the second piece of software in the second video and again this is just the basics we're going to cover using FL Digi to send CW it's a great program it has raised cosine edges on it that you can vary with the rise time however you see fit you can vary the weight the dot to dash ratio you can even select between two different types of raised cosine edges we'll also demonstrate how to use paddles and keys in the second video if you don't want to type on a keyboard to send CW the third video we're going to show you how to set up your own virtual audio cable which they call the ALSA loopback sound card this is a free virtual audio cable that you have to build it requires a few steps but it's not that complicated and you should be able to easily do it if you follow the uh, instructions on the video so let's go ahead and kind of give you the the concept here we're going to send CW through FL Digi or your CW paddles or keys going into your line in jack. Right now I'm going to just show you how to do it with FL Digi to begin with. We're going to use the loopback sound card and FL Digi is going to send to the sound card. Mumble on its input instead of using a microphone like you would on Skype to listen and send out audio from each station Mumble's going to listen instead on this virtual sound card. And the only thing playing on it will be CW. So that the output of Mumble will not get into the input of the same you know, Mumble client on your desktop. And that would cause an echo effect and everybody's signal would get bounced back to everybody else. And it cr creates an audio disaster. So you have to have two sound cards on Mumble, one separate from each other so you need one sound card for the input and another separate sound card for the mumble output which which you'll be able to hear everybody with and I'll go over that on this video so how do you download mumble don't worry about going here to do it this is just the if you want more information on it it's already on your Ubuntu I'm using the standard issue of Ubuntu here 10.04 with all the standard and basic updates that are state you know, the stable updates nothing else nothing more if you'll go into your system menu administration select the synaptic package manager and in the quick search type in mumble and it automatically brings it up this is the correct version for the latest stable one click the top one there mark for installation click mark click apply apply that's as easy as, as it gets just about so this will automatically download and install the latest stable mumble so we'll close that out and then we'll minimize the synaptic package manager so let's go to application menu it should already be here in the internet column and there it is mumble click on it it'll bring it up and this first screen, you don't have to worry about, just click no. I want to show you the settings to use instead of letting this wizard find the settings. We don't use certificates, don't worry about it. Go ahead and make one automatically though. Just click next and click finish. Okay, now you have to add 
our ICW server to this list. And these are all the public servers. Ours isn't in the public list, it's a private list. So you'll need to add it. So click Add New. ICW. The address is as follows. W5UXH.DYNDNS.ORG type in the port number 34749 and in your username please use your call sign so everybody knows that you're a ham radio operator and who you are so my call sign is AA0HW click OK and then you should have the listing in your favorites and all you have to do is highlight it click connect brings up that certificate thing. We don't use these, so don't worry about it. Just click yes. And now you're logged into the server. Next thing we're going to do is hit the settings before we do anything else. Click down on the advanced. Brings up the settings that we need to choose. For the system interface, I'm using Pulse Audio on this video. I found this to be very convenient, and you can change sound cards really easily, as well as trying to find that stereo mix can be a real hassle, but you don't have to worry about it with Pulse Audio, and I'll show you that in just a second. You have other options. You can use OSS or ALSA for the Linux, but I want to stay with Pulse Audio. Use the default. Voice activity is just like Vox, so as mumble input here's something then it's going to activate in transmit mode click so just follow these settings here as I do click amplitude bring the slider down the silence below bring the speech above right about there so right about where the amplitude is quality take it all the way up we want full quality here audio per packet take that all the way up Noise suppression, this is important, turn it off. This noise suppression will try to uh, suppress the CW since it's a single pitch, but when you turn it off it doesn't do that. We don't need amplification, so turn that all the way off, or down to 1. Click Apply. Instead of selecting the sound card here, we're going to do it on the Pulse Audio vol Volume Control. Right now I'm using uh, defaulted to my microphone, that's why you see this VU meter. But we don't, we're not going to use the microphone, we're going to use something else. Okay, go to the Audio Output tab. If it's Positional Audio, unselect it if yours is checkmarked. Okay, follow these instructions for the settings here. Take that all the way to the right for the default jitter. Output delay all the way to the right. Now if you're using headphones, sometimes it's helpful to turn this up a little bit. I'll take it up to 150. Get a little extra volume where you can for your headphones. That's about all you need to do here. Click Apply. One important thing about this output tab, which I'll go over in a second, is this loopback test. Under loopback, on the drop-down options, if you click Server, Everything you send is going to go to the server and come right back to you only. So you can hear what your own signal sounds like. And that way you can uh, run a live test and adjust your settings till you're happy with how you sound. And you'll be able to hear how you sound, and that's how you're going to sound to everybody else. I'm not going to do that just yet. So to, we'll go back to none. Don't forget to turn it off or you, nobody's going to be able to hear you. Hit apply. Always hit apply. Uh, one thing, if you connect to the server and you get logged off, you connect, get logged off. So if that keeps happening, it says, Kirk, you know, it tries to connect and it, you get rejected. Try this. On the network, unselect, use quality of service. Sometimes routers can't handle that, and that's why you get bounced off the server. It doesn't happen very often, but once in a while it does, and this is one particular fix that you can try. Mine's doing okay with it, so I'm going to leave it on. What this does is it prioritizes mumble traffic on your router so that if anything else is going on your router, your packets from your CW are going to be prioritized and go to the server un unhindered, and so there won't be any gaps or, or pops or clicks in your audio that way. Okay, we'll hit click apply. Okay, and that'll bring us out of this screen. So I'm going to now select the sound cards for mumble by using Pulse Audio Volume Control, which is in the Applications, Sound and Video, Pulse Audio Volume Control. 
and we'll bring these options down in playback. I want to use my regular sound card on mobile. So you can use your speakers or your headphones and plug them in there. On the recording, however, we don't want to use them the regular sound card because you have to have two separate sound cards to make this work right. So on the input of mumble, which is the, called the recording tab, we're going to select the monitor of loopback analog stereo, which is that, s that virtual sound card I've already built. So what the monitor means is it's listening to that sound card and anything it hears it's going to resend it. That's what you want. So we're going to, in the second video, we're going to have FL Digi send its CW to just this sound card. Mobile will listen to that sound card and anything it hears it's going to resend it. So your CW will be sent through to everybody else through this virtual sound card. Okay, very good. So that's all you have to do for that. One thing about this is you need to check, make sure all your outputs are at max on this pulse audio volume control. Input volumes, so that my, lip, my loop back is all the way up. That's good. Configuration, make sure these are analog stereo duplex and not any of the other options there. I think it comes default like this, but go ahead and check it. Okay, so we can set that aside for a mo moment. All right, now let's go up and see if we hear any audio. So we should be set to go. Now, when you're sending and you're in transmit mode, your icon is going to go from gray to red. Since I'm not using my microphone anymore now on the mobile input, and instead I'm using the monitor of that loopback st uh, virtual sound card, it's not hearing anything yet because my FL Digi is not up and running. I'm not sending any CW. However, I can still hear. So let's go up to the newcomers. So you left click, hold, drag it up, go right on top of the channel, and drop it. Okay, so we're getting audio just fine. Okay, so now let's get out of there again. So the audio is working, and that's just a uh, testing CW just to make sure that you're getting something so you don't worry about it. Now we're going to go into the testing room. So left click, hold, drag, and pop it into the testing room. So we'll leave it there for now, and on the second video we'll pick it up here, and we'll get FL Digi set up to send CW. We'll use the loopback test on Mumble to test our, how our own audio is sounding. So that's about all we need to do for Mumble. If you've got Pulse Audio already, it makes it really easy, and this volume control is just super easy. Sometimes you have to click on these little option bars here a few times. It seems like there's a little bug in Pulse Audio. And probably when the new versions come out, they may address that. But I think for right now, we're good to go as far as the first part of this video, and that's getting Mumble set up with the right settings. Right now, you can see anybody that pops in this room is going to be right here and the names will start listing up left and right. So the two active ones are on here, welcome message and the ICOM remote. You see these C's over here? These are text messages. And if you hover right above the channel name, the, the name of the text, you'll get a little message. So look over here for comments. It's real easy to put a comment. You just take your name, right click, and say change comment, and you can put anything you want right here. You can even add pictures and text and links and that's helpful if you want to leave a message for everybody they can look on our leave a picture or two the uh, one of the other things is the chat box so down here chat box and you send it if you don't like that voice just unclick text to speech okay that's basically the first part of this video on how to send CW over the internet using Linux. Part 1, how to set up Mumble. So please click on the second video and we'll go over how to set up FL Digi.